Before we get to anything else, <laughs> since you're a New York guy, mm -hmm. came up in the 90s, mm -hmm. have to get your thoughts on Lonzo Ball going into the garden with his face on the Illmatic cover. Well, we got bragging rights on the Lakers, so <laughs> the Knicks was my team. Defeated them the other night. Um, LeVar, I mean, you know, he, he, watching the game, I saw him, you know, scoring and, and, and really turning up. And I'm like, okay, maybe he's not as bad as people say. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, in your rookie year or whatever, you, you know, you always have to build up your respect. And, you know, when I saw him play, I was like, you know, just give him another year or so. He'll be all right. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Lonzo's rap opinions, though, are worse yeah. than anything his oh, dad yeah, ever definitely. said. You know, like dismissing Nas, saying that <laughs> 21 Savage's record was better than Jay-Z's 444. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes people get the wrong message out there, man. And, you, you know, you, you have to respect a legend like Nas, you know what I'm saying, um, who's heavily inspired so many youth, like kids, who want to be just like him. You know what I'm saying? And that speaks in volumes so people have to really have to really respect that you know plenty of people will reminisce over Omatic of course mm -hmm. Pete Rock mm -hmm. and CL Smooth they mm -hmm. reminisce over you mm -hmm. thought it'd be fun if we go through some athletes and okay. you tell me how you think people will reminisce over them we'll start okay. with the Knicks in New York since okay. you're a, a Knicks fan how about Kristaps mm -hmm. Porzingis um Kristaps man people he's like the actual piece that we needed in the Knicks on, on the Knicks um I feel like we still need another piece to, to, to kind of, you know, gel the team together. Someone, I'm just hopeful that we'll, we'll be a, a, a team to compete with in like two years. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is my boy. Um, I'm happy for him. You know, a lot of people wasn't happy with his move that he made. But, you know, he was focused on, on, on getting what he wanted and he got it. Well, I wish he would have came to the Knicks, though. You know, that's, I want every player to come to the Knicks. What about his teammate Steph Curry? Um, Steph is like one of the, the craziest shooters I've seen in the past two years. You know what I'm saying? And, um, how about ever? I mean, like some of the stuff, like, you know, pull up from 35 feet. You're like, you that's know, not fair. Period. Yeah. Like ever that I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, being a young player and, um, you know, I, we, I think we kind of missed our chance to have him on the Knicks, but you know, he, 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 he landed where he's supposed to be. And, um, it's good. It's, 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 it's actually exciting to watch them play. You clearly reminisce on every missed opportunity the Knicks have had. That's a long list, though. I mean, I mean, <laughs> making it to the finals back in the day with, you know, Patrick Ewan and, and Starks and, you know, actually yeah. being this close, you know. Yeah. I've been, I've been, you know, in agony for the past 40-something years. Yeah, I mean, we talked about Lonzo Ball and Elmatic. The yeah. last time the Knicks were good, Elmatic was out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Let's but go. But you know what? That's my team. I'm a rider, and I'm going to stay stick with New York. There you go. You got any projects coming up? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, you know, we're putting a band together and I'm, you know, going to hit up some of these jazz festivals and, you know, do, do some of that. Working in the studio with, you know, artists, you know, and just, you know, doing what I love doing.